It's now the next day. <laughs> the moment of truth. Oh, it's not stuck to that at all. I didn't record that. That come off quite easily, believe it or not. Uh, yes, I am concerned because there's a couple of places. I mean, in the middle here, you can see, I don't know if you can see ridges. And this bit here, this was supposed to be flat and I never thought about it. I think what I should have done was 3D printed that flat because this is the mounting point and it's got to sit flat. That's a bad sign. Dead, dead, dead. I don't want to turn this over. Uh, is that going to come out? I mean, the surface itself. Oh god, I can't believe how light this is. And how straight. Oh. It, it twists a bit. But that way. My god, that's strong. How, how heavy is that? As it is, hang on. 86 grams. <laughs> that is stupid light. Oh, it's not come out. There's nowhere near perfect. You can see all that there. Uh, that actually looks like there is no carbon. F there's no. There's no resin on it, and there's none left in there. So that leads me to believe that I didn't squeeze you that out. That was a big air bubble or something. Uh, and the same on the corner there, but that doesn't matter because I'm cutting it about here anyway. And the same, well, on the sides, I'm going to cut the sides off. It's about, uh, where is it now? I've got to cut it about there. I'm not leaving too much on there. But it's just in those corners that's really bad. This bit, yeah, it, it hasn't. It hasn't gone all the way, or it hasn't detached from here. So, I don't know what to do about that. Back to the drawing board. Partial success. So, I'm going to make another one. This one is going to be perfect. I know what my mistakes were. <laughs> I don't know how to rectify them, but I know what my mistakes were. Uh, anyway, I'm going to do some sections that way and some sections that way it's going to be a four layer the same so I'll do the base layer that way and then I'll do the next one that way and then that way and then that way hopefully that will strengthen it enough to stop it from flexing you know the score it's four layers of wax blah 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 so I'm not going to go through all that I'll just go to the point where I'm ready to start moulding okay that's had five coats of wax uh, I have lightly buffed it off. I don't know if you can actually see, but there is still a slight film on there. Now, what I'm going to do is on the pieces that don't matter, as in these pieces here, which is part of, you know, it, it just doesn't matter, I'm going to put PVA mould release on. And also on this bit here, because it wouldn't come off properly. So I'm going to apply a layer of that, then I'll come back again. That's all prepped. I'm going to mix this again. I'm going to do 120, uh, 120 grams of that, and 18 grams of the fast, and 18 grams of the slow, the same as last time. But this time, I'm not going to spill it everywhere. Um, when I'm doing this, when I've done the four layers, I'm going to fill that up with um, 
carbon fibre, that was it. <laughs> I'm going to fill that, pack it out with carbon fibre because it's a mounting point. So, fingers crossed, this time it goes right. Oh yes, I've also done two layers of PVA around all the areas that I want releasing easily. Now you can put two layers on. The first layer you paint on, the second layer, the second layer you dab it. Like that. <laughs> and it does work. Clean the brush off. On the first layer, you, you might have seen me doing this rather than dabbing it. And the reason being is, because the last one didn't come out in the corners, I need to squeegee as much of this air out as I possibly can as I'm going along. Uh, it didn't move the weave at all, so I'm happy we're doing that. So that one is uh, from right to left going diagonal, this one is going to be from left to right diagonal. Okay, I'm going to get the peel ply on it now. If it looks a mess after this, it's all by design. So any cosmetics, I designed it like that. If it looks shit, that's the way I designed it. Okay, peel ply. I'm not a professional at this and I've not got any professional tools and bits and pieces to do things. Um, but I'll tell you now, if somebody like, is it Easy, Compo Easy Composites? I think they are probably the only people now, if they said that we'll sponsor your video, I would do a sponsor. Right, I'm going to get this bag off here. I do need some proper stuff if I'm going to do this properly. Um, it seems sort of counterintuitive when you're doing this. When you're when you're vacuuming, you have to make sure that there's wrinkles in it. But it does seem like the wrong thing to do because it makes you think that you know, there's there's going to be bubbles everywhere, or there's going to be wrinkles in your final print, but there isn't. That's it. I've got to leave it for 12, 8 or 12 hours now. So we'll see what it's like in the morning. 
fingers crossed. Oh, I'm a bit worried. One thing I've learnt is wear thick gloves because you can catch your fingers on it and it's quite painful, really. Right, well, that's stuck in there. Yeah, I should have put more breather, uh, more pale ply on. <laughs> I've made a, a thing with a sharp edge on it, so as I can get underneath here. I, I openly admit that I've designed this wrong. With things like the edges here, these should have been, they should have been chamfered edges, they shouldn't have been square edges, it was a stupid idea. Well, it wasn't even an idea, I never even thought. I never even considered carbon fibre moulding. It was always something I was going to do with it, with it, but I never even cons considered the structural bonding or whatever you call it, I don't know. Before I turn that over, you can see it's left the resin there again, which I'm, I'm not bothered about. I'm just bothered about any bubbles or anything else in the corners here. So, the moment of truth. Apart from the scratches I've just caused. There's only one slight area, look. That bit I'm, I'm not bothered about, to be honest. So this is the original one, which is 85 grams. And this is the one I've just done, which is 90 grams. Five grams heavier. But, have I got more trimming to do? I think I've got a bit more trimming to do on this, so that's probably a gram. Well, here is the nearly finished product which is I'm quite impressed actually it's not as bad as I thought uh, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna give it another uh, what's it coat another coat of resin obviously with pieces like that I'm not gonna clean that up properly uh, but the, you know the scratches and the bits and pieces there is a bit of pitting where it didn't quite go in properly so I'm gonna put some of the self leveling stuff on there now also with this, obviously because it's got no torsional strength or very little, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stick it down there, I don't know how yet, but I'm going to stick it down there after I've sanded it all down, roughed it all up to get, get uh, some keying surface, to hopefully make it more rigid. I'm not going to bore you with all the, the, the sanding down time lapse and stuff like that, you've seen it before. So I'm just going to show you the perfect finished version. Look at the shine on that. That is the finished product. It looks so nice. It's not an absolute perfect fit, but you know, my design skills are pretty crap. And it's the first time I've ever done any carbon fibre in. It's the first time I've made any moulds, it's the first time I've basically done anything like this, so I'm well happy with that. I am so pleased <laughs> in those little things. Actually, this is, a, this is a big thing. I mean, that saved a hell of a lot of weight. So this is the reason why I did it, is because this is just not wide enough at all. It doesn't even cover half of the tyre, but obviously that one does. You can see the thickness difference there. 
Um, I am going to add lights. I don't know where or how yet. I might put them on top there, pointing backwards. I don't know, but obviously I've got to cut a piece out. That is, it's plenty strong enough now. Now I've added, I put some resin on the top and then I put some resin underneath so it doesn't, you know, it does flex a bit, but it returns back to where it's supposed to be. So I'm very pleased with that. Very, very pleased.